Hey, nice work with that rescue. I heard you kicked Benitez's ass, Danny. I wish I could have been there, but my battlefield is right here, watching this goddamn door. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. Is that morale taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for La Morale. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups! Are the first step to victory! The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your hand open. You sure doing push-ups was such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech puffed me up. The part where you put the gun to your head and pull the trigger, that was crazy! I loved it! <laughs> Danny? Needs to take care of our little problem at the hotel. Well, why didn't you say so? All we need is Carlito, and the hotel is as good as ours. What we need is to stop Benitez's convoy. Sounds like we're on different pages of the same book. Doesn't matter when you read first, they all lead to the same end. Benitez. Benitez. We hit all three, and we spread her forces thin. Make her base I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito. And Carlito only needs one. Oluso!
El Tigre. I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. <laughs> Try to call back up now. Hola. Him out of here. He just needs a little love. You Get can fix him. What's that? She's here. No, you're here.
Oh, you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. I heard you and Carlito did some renovations at the museum. Well, if anyone shows up at this door with a tank, you're still going to need a fat. We need Bring to it talk. In. You're no. Hey, what's the hold up? We gotta make a move on the convoy. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Fucking Hugo. Always getting caught. All these dusty terrible for my fault. Hey Danny! You recruit those farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, sit. Danny! The convoy's almost at the pass! Got it, Honron! You bumped? I'm bumped. Hey, Danny! You recruit those farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias.
while. Too long. Hey, ¿cómo estás? When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush at the pass. Fucking up the convoy. Taking whatever they're carrying. I'm fighting with Honron. Carajo. You're ready. I have been waiting to get the go-ahead for months. Vámonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. La moral. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. Sí. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! Que vuelta. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Finga. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them.
see what's inside this bad boy. Pop it open. <gasps> Jackpot. Hey. This is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. See, si. On Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. You and Carlito did some renovations. We need to talk. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy tourists, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Headed to the Grand Hotel Caballero. Que voila? Hey, hey. I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. And I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are ready in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. Oh, it's for her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up.
dentists were always late. Not this one. Nothing to report here. Todo está tranquilo por acá. Here, girl. Making my round. Oh. Get them. What a beautiful set of people couples I know. Shit, move Over here, Oluso. Fuck you. You enjoy eating solid. Elena, the dentist is dead. La moral is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Daddy. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Daddy? I'm just saying. We've <laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente.
Juana. Over here. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. Come on, girl. Libertad, la moral. Come here. Hey. Hola. My baby Tigre. A big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. <laughs> so, I'm Santos? No! You are me, the feast! Now, before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. There. I just imagined us destroying the Navy. We doing this? You kids today, you're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. Elias! Attack! like this way is blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it! We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can! Aguerrilla has made it inside! Find them! Kill them! I'll kill you! Spread out! 
If you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside! Hey, baby Tigre, you still there? See, si. seems to be fucking death around every corner here. Then make sure you're on the other side of those corners. Claro, El Tigre. How do I open the door? Benitez went in. Go ahead. Release the fake Yaran rats. They will die, just like you. You think I wasn't ready for an attack like this? Where 
middle name.
Adiós, Benítez. Ojo por ojo. ¡Viva la moral! Por... ¡Benítez! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. See, sí, Mama. Same mistakes, new faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went, and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Benitez is private stash. Huh? <laughs> Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was Bebe Tigre. Then Iroha will be bigger than that Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si! Viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay. Everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was alarmed. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you have Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the President has a strict... Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched him die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you lose in this chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> General Benitez is how are you? Danny! Are you still celebrating the fact that we fucking decimated Castillo's Navy? I am. Not yet, but I get the feeling I should be. Hell yes! Okay, it's on, Danny. Have a drink with me at Chuchis. It's a bar west of Concepcion Bay and north of Grand Hotel Caballero. You got it, Yelena. Clara Garcia for president. Clara, the Admiral is dead. That's a huge blow to Anton's military. Benitez was the poster child for the new Yara. With the Admiral gone, they're disorganized. Keep hitting them hard, Danny. That was the plan. Take care, Clara.